steps out for a minute and look what happens. Well, last evening, Nancy and I invited all Americans to join in a national crusade against drugs. And this morning, I'm signing an executive order and transmitting legislation to Congress as part of the federal government's crusade against drugs. The executive order that I'm signing will implement new procedures that will work to ensure a drug-free federal workplace. And the legislation, the Drug-Free America Act, addresses the need to get drugs out of the workplace, schools, and our neighborhoods. It helps the states with drug treatment, and it cracks down on drug traffickers. This is the federal government's way of just saying no to drugs. We're getting tough on drugs, and we mean business. To those who are thinking of using drugs, we say stop. And to those who are pushing drugs, we say beware. I hope all Americans will join in this important effort and make America drug-free. Now, first, I will sign the executive order. And the two transmittal letters. side has blinked and I didn't blink. I wasn't going to take any question on any other subject. When you ask that, I heard some of the shows Sunday, and I don't know where they get that idea. No, we have not blinked. He is a hostage, as George Shultz said. The individual that we're holding is an accused spy, and uh, there can be no trade between those two, nor does Mr. Daniloff believe that there should be such trade a trade. But no, we haven't blinked. From the very first, I have felt that it was absolutely essential that we get Daniloff out of their hands and out of that cell, which he occupied with what was obviously a Soviet aid and four hours a day interrogation. Well, do you think now that you can bring it to a successful conclusion and get Daniloff free in an honorable way? That's our goal, and that's what we're going to Has there been any progress in those negotiations uh, on the last time? I can't comment on that. I really can't. <laughs> what? You have a cold. Are you talking to the I think there was something in the breeze up at Camp David this weekend that I'm subject to certain allergies of pollen, and uh, I've brought this back from Camp David with me. It isn't a cold. No, it's an allergy. Huh? Other than that, I'm feeling fine. You're not taking any drugs for <laughs> <laughs> No, Sam, uh, I irrigate my nasal passages with salt water. <laughs> 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 